Hey everyone, it is Complex, and today I'm going to release my Valorant player analysis slash stat tracker spreadsheet. As always, I'm going to try to keep these videos short and concise, trying to target under 10 minutes. But if you have any questions, feel free to go write uh, something down in the comments or reach out to me on Discord. To begin with, I'm just going to show the general design, and then I'm, I actually have a spreadsheet with some actual data in it, so I can kind of show off more how it works. This one's the blank one. Again, there'll be a uh, in the description. There'll be a download link. Go ahead, download it, and uh, don't worry. These are all gonna. There might be an error or so. Um, it just because there's no data whatsoever. This is your statistics page. This is gonna give you the overview of everything that happened in your matches, and I'll get into this in a moment. The actual matches tab, obviously, it's blank here, and I'm gonna show what it would look like once you actually start playing. You record some data. But it just keeps track of, you know, the day you play, the game mode, uh, type of queue. I'll get into kind of what you would put in each of those columns. So here we go. This is what a full uh, stat tracker looks like. It has so many columns. You're never going to need all these, but they're there. Obviously, date, very self-explanatory. Game mode, if you want to filter out whether you're playing just competitive, if you wanted to keep spike rushes, if you're doing customs, if you're doing scrims, if you're doing official league matches. Uh, on the statistics page, I'll show you there's a filter out. So anything uh, that you want to filter out is kind of you separate the data here. The type of queue. Are you solo queuing? Do uh, duo queuing? Are you playing with the full team versus the five queue of friends? Again, that's all type of stuff you put there. It's very open. There's no right or wrong data entry. So you could type in duo, whatever you want to remember. Obviously, map the different maps we have in Valorant, Fracture, Bind, Molt List, all of them out. Agent, again, very self-explanatory. Kills, death, assist, you can type in all three of these. The red, green arrows are going to be based on your averages, and uh, it calculates the percentiles how you do. So in this game, uh, the player had four kills. That is obviously a red arrow because it's below the average. I'll show you the averages later on in the video. It calculates your KD and KDA for you, so you're not going to type in these cells. Uh, you'll get an error. It's mainly just so that the sprite sheet isn't corrupted. Because once you start messing things up, you know, then it's just hard to get back on track. You need to redownload it. So that's kind of why I have uh, them formatted like this. Rounds one, you're able to type in this, and depending what you type, the green bars will go up and down. And obviously, net rounds and the winner loss calculated for you. So the black backgrounds, you don't type anything in. It's only the ones with the white you are able to edit all of these cells. When we actually get into the statistics tab, now that we actually have data here, we don't have zero, so it'll calculate your total kills, death, assist, and your averages as well. So the point of this spreadsheet was, uh, as kind of like a coach uh, in my roles, I really wanna see how players are doing on my team and on other teams and how we can get uh, my teammates in the most comfortable roles and other people in the most uncomfortable roles. Uh, so right here, we have an average kills of 16.25, and the initial goal of this spreadsheet was if I'm going against another team, how do we get their average kills beneath 16.25? How do we make them feel uncomfortable and play in a role that they're not used to? That is the kind of strategy you're going from a, a, an IGL or coaching perspective. So we can just go into here. Maybe we're looking at map. And right now, you're going to realize this, and actually, this just means criteria we don't care what it is. So if you realize that if you leave one of these blanks, it's not gonna work. It just makes the spreadsheet work. If you don't care what map, just have the asterisk, right? So it just makes it, we don't care what you're looking for. But say you do care. Say you wanted to know how you guys play on Icebox. This player in particular is a 14.94. Now we can obviously compare it, you know, has a 16.25 in general, but on Icebox has a 14.94. You can make the comparison. We gotta improve on Icebox. Then we can go in here, type of queue. All of the data points in my entry were solo. You might not have that. So that's a solo queue. Game mode, maybe you're playing comp. Then maybe, okay, it's Icebox, Viper. I only want to see the Viper. And it's going to keep filtering, filtering, and filtering all the results. So you can compare what you have in total and averages versus total averages of every single game you played. Down here, just for design, I have all the characters and maps currently listed in the game, mainly because maps agents, you know, they are they're kind of locked you're not going to get anything more than what are in these boxes again game mode and solo queue that's up to your interpretation if 
type of queue, you could delete that if you wanted to. You could just completely leave it. You don't have to fill this in. If you don't care about type of queue, that it doesn't matter if you're solo queuing, you have the same expectations, just get rid of it. We do not care. Uh, completely fine. Same thing with game mode competitive. If you're going to be like, I treat all games the same, I'm never going to record a spike rush, a deathmatch, whatever, that's understandable. Like, makes sense. And, and, and you know, and, and not thinking, you can get rid of it. But uh, for people who do care, and, you know, so a lot of people treat customs and scrims and official matches completely different than comps. would be important to see their statistics in those. Finally, we have the notes section. So, again, here, this is if you just wanted to type something, you want to remember it. So, you know, I leave a note saying, Icebox, Viper, performing, you know, under average, need to improve. And that's just so you can recall it later. And, obviously, I had an equal sign in front of it, so... Um, that's an issue, but you can just keep all your notes in there and, you know, you could keep going down, you know, what else do you need to know? Um, Icebox as a map in general needs work. And with everyone, if you want to leave it blank, you don't want to put anything in there, you can do that as well. But we had extra space on the page, thought I would add it in there. But again, I want to keep these videos very short. So if anyone has any questions, if spreadsheets don't work for some reason, again, there'll be a download in the description that should always be working, but just reach out to me. That is this spreadsheet done. I have some more spreadsheets to release in the future. I'll be making some more videos shortly. But uh, if you like the idea of the spreadsheet, please leave a like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.